ladies, girls, when you get up to get dressed to come to the church, you need to realize you're coming to the holy house of God. You ought not to come here to show off, wait, your legs, and if you're constantly having to fight to stay decent, you got the wrong wardrobe on. And not just for church, but for anywhere else. And you ought not to be the cause for a man having to fight his flesh in a service. Here's another one. But pastor, that's our culture. Now hear me. When you get saved, you change cultures. I don't care what you call French, Russian, Romanian, I don't care what it is. When you get saved, you become a Christian and you conduct yourself as a Christian and you dress modestly for the glory of God everywhere you... It drives me crazy in this 21st century how people dress when they go to church. They would never go to the White House dressed like that. But they'll go into the presence of the living God in the sloppiest clothes they can find. And they'll appeal to James about, you know, hey, if a poor guy can't have a shirt, that's fine. He's welcome to my church anytime. But you're not poor. You don't come into the presence of God like a slob. Get dressed up. Or dressed down, but for heaven's sake, get dressed. When you come to church and into the presence of God. What's wrong with us today? We have no sense of who we're worshiping. We have no sense of the presence of God. And yet, He's the very one who's clothed us in the garments of the prince. The finest garments there is, finer than linen, finer than gold. The garments of the righteousness of Christ.